All right, what is going on everybody? My name is Lizzie the Gifted and I'm going to show you how to make beats without knowing any music theory. Full disclaimer, there are two different tools that I will be using. I will be using Splice and I will be using Arcade. So the first one is Splice. So this is the application that comes with Splice, but Splice is a website where you can download different sounds. You know, um, if you want to sign up for Splice, you can just click below. It's going to be in the link in the description. But essentially, you know, I'll just show you. It comes with a bunch of different packs um, of loops and sounds. So you can just download them to your computer. Eight bucks a month, uh, and you get a bunch of sounds, and you get rollover. So I have a bunch of credits because I have rollover credits, and because people were cool enough to sign up with my link. Um, so, you know, for example, like this sound right here. You know, you can, like, this is the one we're going to use today. You can hit, a, you can hard it, and then you download it. So when you download it, what ends up happening is you have this little application here on your screen here, or up here, right? And so when you click it, now you have all your sounds. So we're going to minimize this. We're going to use this sound here. I like the way that sounds. And what's great about it is it tells you the BPM and what key it's in. So it's in 80 BPM in G major. So we're going to click. We're here in Logic. We're going to go to Beats and Project. We're going to change that. I double click. Type it does not. Okay, cool. It does. So we're going to go back to Splice. We're going to drag it in and let it go. Now there's two things we can do. We could leave this as it is. We could even reverse it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're just going to keep this really simple. In fact, here's what I like to do. So we just chopped it up. Here's what you do. You go to the section, you hit Command T, Command T, Command T. I'm going to do a little trick that only I like to do. I've never seen. I'm going to take all these. I'm going to hit, we're going to go with Copy. Well, I just do Command C. Watch this and then Command V. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you exactly why I do this. Now we're going to go to Software Instrument. We're going to hit EXS Sampler. We're going to hit Stereo. Great. Now, sometimes people don't have Edit, right? This is where you want to edit your sample. So you'll go here. Oh man, I've done this in a. Oh no, no, you go to Logic Pro X. We go to. I want to say Preferences and I want to say Advanced Tools. And then you're going to make sure you hit enable all. That way you'll be able to have it. So you edit. Now, I'm going to drag all of these in. Let go. Hit OK. Now you're going to be like, well, why did you do these last four? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight those and reverse them. So right now, with this, I can hit this. You know what I mean? But now, the fourth one is reversed. Now we got to do one more thing. We're going to hit Command A. We're going to hit Group. We're going to hit New Group. We're going to drag them into the new group. We're going to go to Groups. We want to go to Poly. Stands for Polyphony. Don't know what Polyphony is. Don't care. Max 1. The reason we do that is when it's on Max, when I hit a key and then hit another one, they're going to overlap. We don't want that. When we hit that next key, we want it to stop. See how it stops? And that's it. Now we're going to hit that. We're going to save it. I just like to go SKR Piano, you know, 80, EPM, G, and then G. Yeah. I'm not very picky. We're going to go here. Oh, hold on. So we did Command C. So I'm moving fast. Command C, Command V. I'm going to highlight them. Command J. Now, immediately what I want to do is quickly EQ it. Just like a very rough EQ. Take the low end out. Because we're going to leave room for our kick. Now 
Now what I'm going to do is bounce in place. Right now, this is what's called MIDI, which means you can still change the notes. But the problem is, on this track, you're holding on to the EXS sampler, which is a plug-in, and you're holding on to the EQ. The reason that's bad is because you're taking up more room on your computer. Now, if I bounce this in place, right-click, bounce in place, we'll just call this sample. Now it's a, it's a wave, I can delete this. Much easier. Now, the next tool we're gonna use is called Arcade. Now Arcade, you can get it for $10 a month, which is like ridiculous. Now watch what Arcade is. Arcade is absolutely ridiculous, okay? Arcade is a little bit like Splice in that it has a bunch of different like uh, packs, but instead of it being just like a file that you drag and drop, you play the samples. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the key to what we are in, which is G major. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look through some instruments. I'm just going to look through stuff. Um, in fact, I'm going to cheat a little because I know some of these, but uh, we're going to hit lines and I know the one I'm thinking, this one, Vintage Synths, which I like. Now I'm going to turn it down a little. I know it's going to be super loud. But I, you can actually hit that in preview. I'm going to be honest with you, I really dig that synth bass. See that? And there's... What you can do, there's so many things you can do with it. Um, the white notes are all. You can do that. These black notes, what you do, like see how I hit that? So I'm gonna play a sound original. If I hit that, it's gonna arpeggiate. Other black note, the, the yellow arrows are reverse. You know what I mean? Those are modulates. Now I'm not going to do that. Now let me just. Also go. I'm gonna do it. I love that. Love that vibe. Uh, no, we're not going to bounce in place with the get it? Cool. All right, now I'm going to bounce this in place. The reason I like that bass sound was because it just had like this bounce to it. Now let's find, let's find a, uh, there we go. Chopped is cool. Chopped has like those like lo-fi pianos in there. Let's get it. Love, 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 love. It's so tight. Hey, 
you're a producer and you want to know if your beat sounds good, try humming to it. Can you hum to it? Now I'm a songwriter, so for me, it's easier. Could you kind of come up with a reference track? You know, for those of you who have watched, if anybody's watched uh, Timbaland's Masterclass. You see that Timbaland does a reference track, even though he's the producer, right? But he wants to get a, catch a vibe. So you got to know, hey, is this beat fire? Can I at least mumble some melody to it? Like, like... Boom, I just said a line. I'm living like that's just the way it goes. Now we're gonna find vocals. There's one in there I like. Now this is where I like to get crazy with this. For now, that's good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's like we're just doing a rough one. Vocal chop back. Bro, look at this, bro. We haven't even done the drums yet. <laughs> Like this beat's already like fire. Now, we're gonna add the drums and we are gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I really wish I knew when I first started producing, bro. I wanna find just like, I have some just chill like, you know, and you can get your drums from Splice as well. I'm not gonna go into how to import your drums. I actually have another video teaching how to do that. It takes a long time. And so I don't wanna go into it now. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just like find something, you know what I mean? Turn this down a little bit. I'm going to hit both at the same time. Let's go. I just wanted to switch it up a little. It's got some good little stuff. And I like that we layered it. So here's the next thing. I'm going to just do this right away. Okay. I'm just going to command C, command V. Now watch. I'm going to mute this, solo this. Now, what we're going to do is we are going, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to layer this, bro. I just want to label this clap one. I just really 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 wanted to show you guys like layering bro it's such a freaking under get out of here 
It's such an undercover gem. I was in the studio with a literal professional producer in LA. He's literally like a freaking producing god, if you will. I'm gonna get rid of these. There we go. I just wanted to find a beefier snare. Now let's hear these together. You know what I mean? That snare is beefier, right? Now, peep game. I'm going to turn them up a tiny bit. I'm going to bounce these in place. Bounce in place. We're just going to call this uh, snares. Ooh, get out of here. Snares. Snares. Now we got a really be beefy snare. Love. Oh my god. Popping, right? We're gonna throw. Uh, this is so lit. I got two. We're going to play them together. It's not a, there's not a lot of producers out there that, you know, Play their drums. A lot of producers draw them in. I like to play them. You can it. So, like, kind of like a really good trick, and I'm kind of random, but it's a good trick to make your mixes sound more clean. EQ them, right? EQ that MIDI a little bit cleaner, and then when you bounce it in place and render it, it's gonna just. Um, you can just have way more headroom. I mean, I think it's kick time. We're almost done with the drums. What kind of kick do we want? Like a smooth. Show this. Love it. That kick is fire, bro. That in. Uh, no, I'm not. Here's what I'm gonna do first. We're gonna layer it with a more high end kick. So, just I'll show you. We're gonna change that. I have a kick in mind to have it. Oh, I love this guy's, this guy's super dope kicks. I mean, in place so now we have two kicks we have like what two snares 
gonna sound so full, you know? So I like what we have here for the chord, for the verse, but we need something for the hook. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, I really do feel like we need an 808. And I feel that way because it's like, oh, you already have a bass, like why do you need an 808? It's like, I know we have a bass, but like, shoot. I know we have a bass, but I want an 808 too, so. Maybe it's because I'm playing. I love it. Now, this is not an actual guitar from Kanye. I just kind of like made it myself. Yeah, more epic. There we go. I dig it. I like that way more than that stupid pad we had. Edit something. That's way Let's hear this beat. I think we're done for now. Intro, hook, verse, or verse, hook. We'll do a bridge later. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. If you want to get spliced, click below, get it. If you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching on how to start making your own beats and fully producing your own music, then you need to book a 15-minute call with me. Click below, book a call with me. Let's teach you how to own the rights to your music so that you never have to rely on a producer ever again, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.